Hey sweeties, it's Queen Aima here and I am back with another fragrance video. As you can see by the title, I will be showing y'all a little haul of the little goodies that I got from Body Care Day, Bath and Body Works. Just a little something something. I did not get a lot because y'all know I'm picky. I know I'm late. I just wanted to get this video out here. Just show y'all what I got and give my opinion of the ones I don't have. Before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at the Queen Naima because that is another place where I share my sweet fragrances. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so the first fragrance that I picked up from Body Care Day is Dark Kiss, baby. Yes. Dark Kiss. You always got to have Dark Kiss. All the time. The fragrance notes are black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. I will forever love Dark Kiss. I just love this scent so much. I never get tired of it. And another reason why I pick it up because it gives me so much memories of like the first time I started buying from Bath and Body Works, which was like seven years ago. So this will always be in my collection. This scent just gives me dark, sexy nighttime vibes. So this is a vanilla, black raspberry, a hint of rose type of scent. If bergamot incense has the scent of bergamot, I don't smell bergamot in here. But I I smell the most is definitely the vanilla bean and the black raspberry this just smells so good one of my favorite sweet fragrances so the next scent that I picked up from body care day is Merry Christmas iced cinnamon rose and I do not like this scent at all so when I bought these fragrances I went into the store instead of ordering online in the store you know how they have those little cards that you spray the fragrance on so I sprayed it on that and it smelled decent but when I got home and I really like got the full scent and I really smelled everything on my skin, on my clothes, in the air, I was just like no. I think those little car things like you can smell the scent on there but it just dilutes the rest of the notes to me. So when I got home and really smelled it, smelled it. I did not like this at all. Like, this is not giving me cinnamon roll vibes. Like, it's just not. It's not giving me delicious vibes, bakery vibes, none of that. The notes on here is a sweet breakfast blend of cinnamon roll, orange, and sugar glaze. I won't, I won't say it's a cinnamon roll. I would say, like, it's a cinnamon bread. It has, like, a bready type of smell, like a dough, like doughy. When you first spray it, you do get, like, that orangey smell, and then the cinnamon come through. And then as it dries down, it becomes, like, this cinnamon doughy smell. Even though that's what a cinnamon roll is, but it's just not giving, um... Fresh out the oven. It's given fresh out the refrigerator. Like, doughy, raw, like, no. The lotion, on the other hand, smells a little bit better. The lotion, to me, kind of reminds me of, um, what you call that scent? That scent, um, white pumpkin and shy. Like, that type of cinnamon in that scent. Yeah, this is definitely giving that cinnamon sweetness, like white pumpkin and shy. This is a little bit better than a fragrance mist, but that's usually in most scents. Like, the lotion is always going to be, like, a little bit sweeter. This one smells a little bit more like cinnamon rolls, but it's still a no for me. Maybe I just don't like cinnamon roll scents. Yeah, maybe. My dumb self picked up two. So, right now, I have two fragrance mists that I do not want. I'm probably going to sell it on Macari. If you like ice cinnamon rolls, let me know because this got to go. The next fragrance that I picked up from Body Care Day is a fragrance that I didn't even like last year. I had to throw it out. But it's back in my collection. And this is Christmas Cookies. Fragrance notes. Creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. I am just in love with the cookie scents this winter. Like, last year, I didn't appreciate it. The more I get into fragrances, I just want to smell like a bakery. Like, I just want to smell like cookies, cakes, and all of that good stuff. It's just a delicious caramel, almond biscotti, creamy cookie smell. Now I regret throwing my old bottle out. Like, I really regret throwing my old bottle out because I could have had the new one and I could have had the old one. And I could have probably compared the two. Even though it is light this year it does stay on the skin and clothes for a long time just like the one from last year I smell it for hours I smell it even after I've been outside and I come back in it's just a little bit lighter but that strong scent is still there that strong bakery foody scent is still in there the lotion so good last year I had the body cream but usually body creams for me it gets nasty after a while and I am just done with it. So I am team lotion. Only thing is I have to 
put an oil or something before I put the lotion. Lotions just last longer for me and they don't look nasty like at the opening how the um body creams look so christmas cookies is definitely gonna have you smell like a snack this winter the next and last scent that i bought for body care day um i really really love this one this one is my favorite my favorite from the whole 2021 the wait Am I lying? And this one right here is Vanilla Mocha Cream, baby. Fragrance Nose Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. I don't know if y'all can see the notes, but um, this is my first time having Vanilla Mocha Cream. I did not have it when it was called Vanilla Mocha Cafe. Oh, this was the best one in the collection in my fact i didn't think this scent was gonna be my cup of tea especially the other fragrances that it came out with in the collection i was just like don't care for it it's vanilla mocha cream like that's just what it is vanilla mocha cream with that cappuccino and that coffee i just love that it's not a strong coffee scent that's what i was afraid of because i don't care for coffee cappuccinos lattes and all of that but when it's paired up with the right notes like this one this is so good if you don't like this i think that you're a little bit crazy the lotion it smells more like chocolate coffee like a chocolate cappuccino like you smell more of the mocha the lotion is definitely given like starbucks or something and you smell everything else with the vanilla the creaminess the mocha the cappuccino the coziness in the fragrance mist. Now I could see why everybody wanted this to come back out. Like I can really see that. It's clear to me. Beautiful. I did not get fresh lavender. What is it called? Uh oh, cozy Sunday morning. Did not get that. That fresh lavender was a big no. I thought it was gonna get vibes like fireside flurries because it got also like a vanilla note in there. But I was just like, this is too fresh for me. What is this? That was just a no for me. With rose latte. It's like a mellow rose. I think that's why, you know, some people say if you don't like rose, you might like the fragrance. But that rose is there. Like, it's there. Not enough sweetness for me. I threw that back on the shelf. No. Starlit. I feel like I smelled that before. Moonlight Path. Smells like powder. Baby powder, happy vibes, definitely giving that generic citrus vibe, summery vibe. Oh, and Midnight Pomegranate. That one is nice. Pomegranate is a nice fruit, but I didn't like it like that. But anyways, that is all for my haul. Just a little something, something. And I will see y'all in the next video. It's Queen Naima and I am out.